here on the podcast, Chris, we've talked a lot about a lot of the pleasant surprise teams in the Big 12, the uh, TCUs of the world, K-State, Kansas. Um, but let's, you know, we're I'm salty this week. Let's talk about the disappointments, um, <laughs> starting with Oklahoma. So <laughs> uh, the Sooners were blitzed by Texas 49 to bagel um in that red river sh- showdown is this the worst sooner team of the big 12 era and how bad would it look if the sooners essentially limp their way into the sec oh uh i don't think you can call it the worst yet i think they're kind of headed in that direction <laughs> now, there's some really bad uh, John Blake team. John Blake <laughs> years were were really bad. That was uh, was Chris even born then? <laughs> I was going to say my my uh, my reference starts in the year two thousand. I was born in ninety five, but I uh, I started paying attention in two thousand. Yeah, those so. those ninety those late nineties years. That's when John Blake was there, and they were god awful. <laughs> yeah, and uh, uh, you know Dylan Gabriel was obviously hurt uh, for the Texas game, and I don't think they have a really good backup for him. And I think that that hurts them. So, you know, until he's maybe back full strength, I think they're going to continue to struggle and boy, that defense is terrible. Oh, I God, mean- <laughs> awful. Yeah. They're bleeding points. I mean, everybody's scoring against them. Yeah. Chris, what do you say? I, I mean, yeah, it's hard to imagine any other sooner team that doesn't get up for the Red River. Like, I, I guess I think everyone expected you're going to be motivated at least for that game. And they were just so flat for the biggest game on their schedule this year. So it's hard to figure out what's going on. I think, I don't think talent wise, this will be the worst team that's been, you know, the worst Oklahoma team in the Big 12 era. But there is some sort of funk going on in that locker room. And that is an issue. And the, and the more it goes, the worse it seems to get. And then as John said, you lose Dylan Gabriel, who's who's a solid quarterback. I mean, I know people probably hyped him up a little more than they should have, but they just they have playmakers at receiver. They have four and five star guys that they just couldn't get the ball to because they don't have a suitable backup. And uh, seeing Sooner fans on social media, they did not seem very impressed with that backup quarterback, Bevel or <laughs> Bevel or however you say. It. They were really coming after him. So I don't know. I mean, maybe they have a freshman they can give a shot to. I, I want to hear John say that freshman out of Allen or the transfer out of Allen's name. General Booty. They needed a booty call. <laughs> they needed a booty call. <laughs> but I don't know. This I think this team's in trouble. I think because uh because I think it's more than just a talent issue with Oklahoma right now. Uh yes. And to the second part of my question, which is uh you know, how does this affect them going into the SEC? It certainly doesn't look good. You know, uh, earlier in the season, we were talking with uh, a writer at the Salt Lake paper, and he was mentioning that for BYU, they really wanted to have a, a good year this year in order to kind of make that transition to the Big 12 and, and you know, have the Big 12 go, yes, we, we really do want you, you know. Uh, and – Oklahoma certainly isn't, you know, uh, looking like any world beater as they, as they, you know, obviously if the, if the big 12 holds Oklahoma and Texas to its contract, you know, it won't be next year when they leave, but at the same time, you know, the SEC is probably over there going, really, these are the guys we were taking. <laughs> What's so great about that? <laughs> you know? But yeah. obviously they do bring, Big fan bases, big tradition. I was going to say, I don't think that they were bringing them in expecting Oklahoma to go in and beat Bama and Georgia in year one or anything like that. I mean, I, I just, I again, it isn't as exciting as if they were coming off back, you know, more Big 12 titles, but I don't think SEC fans are going to be very broken up if it's a, if they just get to beat up on OU and Texas when they get to SEC. I think, honestly, they might look forward to that more. Just, yeah. Hey, we, we get to beat these teams that we don't particularly care about. Right. 